Some city county council members are trying to crack down on Indianapolis hotels with high numbers of emergency runs. But some of the owners of those hotels believe they're being targeted unfairly. Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson joins us downtown where the two sides will argue their points. The hotel owners plan to come here to the city county building not only to speak up for their customers, but also as to be treated fairly as local business owners. He has no idea what he's talking. Kartik Patel owns and operates several Indianapolis hotels, including the Motor 8 Inn on North Shaitlin Avenue. Patel and other hotel owners share the police runs, they say. The council is using to label their properties a nuisance due to crime and drug activity. The council crackdown comes amidst Friday's deadly assault at the Shaitlin Inn Motel. Police and paramedics responded to calls about someone getting badly beaten who eventually passed away at the hospital. A different hotel owner showed us how the council is now demanding their police runs be reduced based on a ratio of the number of rooms they have. Patel admits to past drug problems but says he's the first to act. We're not ignoring and we will never ever ignore. Never ever. So you kick people out of your property? Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. I fight. I chase them off. Patel wants the council to know how shutting down will impact needy families. For example, Pastor James Jackson called Patel personally for help when a mother and her children needed somewhere to go after domestic abuse. He gave the mother discounted room rates. We asked Patel where would his long-term tenants go. I have no idea. Maybe on a stream. Maybe, maybe the council Ivan's home. The council argues the crackdown is for the safety of the community and to help stop deadly attacks like this past weekend's. Patel says despite this so-called crackdown on local hotels, he still considers Indianapolis one of the best places to do business. Reporting downtown, I'm Steve Jefferson.